Hey folks, welcome back to Digital Victory. Today, I'm going to give you my review of the new Indiana Jones Pinball Adventure Table from FX3. We've been waiting on this one for a while. Alright, so grab your whip, grab your hat, let's jump in. Alright, Indiana Jones Pinball Adventure. Let's go. This is... Uh... The regular version just mimics basically what the arcade machine offers. Give it a quick run through. Uh, not trying to set any records or do anything special, just kind of show off the table a little bit. Give you my thoughts on it, but we'll play this version and then we'll play the animated version. And then at the end, I'll give you my overall thoughts for the review, okay? That wasn't very good. As far as the table, my overall thoughts, looking at it for the first time, man, I don't have any complaints at all. This looks spectacular. Which is what you'd expect from FX3. I mean, they're known for the quality of their tables, and this is no exception. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Um, boy, graphically, and the music, and all the sound effects, it's spot on, man. See if we can get a movie mode started or maybe lock some balls and get a multi-ball going. How about that? Can we backhand that into the movie mode thing? Let's try. Let me see if I can do a post pass here. Nope. Ooh. Great DMD work. It's nothing we haven't seen in the arcade, though, or on the other versions, VPX, etc. Ball one locked. All right. Uh-oh. Again, it's not a, not a tutorial or anything. Shoot. Uh, if you want a tutorial, I do have a video of the tutorial I did for this machine. I'll have the link down below. Trying to check out this new FX3 version. And it's really good. <laughs> I'll give you the quick 10 cent version right there. It's really good. All right, what do we got? Center drop. Oh boy. Come on. Call me the idol. Oh, that was slick. I didn't mean to, but it was pretty slick. Uh oh. Nice. Uh oh, shoot. It did not come with a back glass, by the way. I had to make my own back glass for it. So, just so you know, that is the classic version. Got nothing bad to say about it. I mean, it's. Indiana Jones Pinball, what you expect. So now we're going to do a version with the animated Indiana Jones. Classic single player results. Alright, there we go. Very cool. Got the tank down here, the Ark of the Covenant off to the side. Got a blimp up top. And I have seen some videos. I know that the airplanes will fly across. And there goes Indy. That's awesome. on trying to get that multi-ball lock thing going. Or a movie mode, a scene. Oh, uh, there goes the planes. That's awesome. Um, if you watch my videos and you've seen my reviews or playthroughs of FX3 tables before, you know I really like... Uh oh, that was stupid of me. Um, I really like all the animations on FX3 tables. It's one of my favorite things about the FX3 ones. What do we got? 
Super Jets, all right? Let's hit it up there. Yeah, you go first. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. You think that timed multi-ball where they just keep flying out at you? Jeez. I'm just trying to hit it. I don't even know where it's going. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is nuts, but awesome. And you notice, this there is no lag. There is no you know, frame drop that I can tell. Maybe if you you know hooked up some super machine, you could say that ah oh, you're losing two frames every sixty. I I don't know. Uh, oh come on, that was bullshit. Ah shoot. Um, that was spectacular though. Did you see that? The ghosts flew out and then back in on the Ark of the Covenant. That was freaking cool. Rewind and look at that. That was neat. I love this animated version. This is cool as heck. Alright, ball two locked. Oh, that's just ball one. Dang it. See how he turns the idle there? That's pretty cool. Like it. Some machines from FX3 can be a little distracting with the animations. As much as I love Medieval Madness, it does get a little distracting when the dragon's flying across blocking your view. But it's worth it just because it's so cool. Come on, dang, that was terrible. That was embarrassing. But I'm not here to show off any skills because not sure I have many, but uh, this is just a look at the tables. Look at the animations and again, we'll follow up with a full discussion and review after the play. horrible but that's okay because that's not what this is about Indiana Jones pinball adventure on FX3 it's fantastic obviously uh, you see it you the graphics the sound the control everything is spot-on wonderful tables the question is is it worth the 15 bucks if 15 bucks isn't much to you if that's you know just a drop in the bucket hey by all means grab it it's, it's well worth it if you're a little more frugal with your money and you're not interested in spending 15 bucks on something you might already find elsewhere the vpx versions of this are really good there is a brand new vpw mod and i'll show the link below that is at least as good as the standard version of this it's not a comparison to the animated version but if that doesn't matter to you, then this definitely isn't worth the 15 bucks for you. This is a bit of a departure because usually Steam Tables comes in, you know, you get four or five, six pack, uh, pinball machines in a pack for, you know, five bucks at times or 10 bucks. So having one table for 15 bucks is a bit of a stretch. And, you know, I have a pinball channel, so obviously I'm going to get it and, you know, I'll play it and it's fine. But if I didn't have the channel, I'm not sure I would. But... That's my thoughts. Plays great, looks great, but it's 15 bucks. And you can get almost as good playing on VPX. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think in your comments below, okay? Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.